Hey guys, welcome back to another video where I've studied with Raph, and today we have a unboxing for you. This time it's going to be an unboxing of a bag I brought, which I got two days ago, which by the time you're watching this, I would have already started using the bag for certain purposes. So, let's do an unboxing of the Herschel Pop Quiz backpack. Leave a like, subscribe, and make sure you let me know any other video suggestions you want me to do to base, based on studying organisations or even study with me's. If you like the study with me's that I'm going to be uploading eventually sometime in the future, just let me know and I'll do more of those. Okay? So, let's unbox this damn thing. Now, this bag is very cute, I would say. I've got this in like red because, you know, I like red. And, you know, it's better than me having like black bags and stuff. So, oops. I'm just ripping off the thing and you don't need to see my address because, you know, obviously I'm not going to be stalked anytime soon. So you get like a packing list when you get it and then it comes in this little sleeve thing. So let's open it up like so. This is a little annoying. Ta-da! So this is my Herschel bag. I think it looks pretty cute to be honest. My initial impressions of this, it's very, it feels like kind of very rubbery, but it is to be expected because this did cost me around 75 quid. There are other backpacks from Herschel, such as the Heritage, the Settlement, the Little America. There's probably another one, which I can't remember, ranging prices from around 60 to maybe around 125 pounds, but it depends if you're willing to pay that much or if you're willing to go for a budget version. The budget more friendly versions are the Heritage and the Settlement backpacks, which they also do have a laptop sleeve. It's not really padded. So the reason why I went for a pop quiz is because it just looks so cute. This would be my typical backpack which will probably most likely fit in my, like my folders especially my laptop even though I probably won't be carrying a lot of things because I do my work more or less digitally I don't really do notebook like pen paper stuff because I do not just don't like the feel of it let's look at the different compartments so the first compartment is the white zip but I actually do like this white zip it gives it more of a cuteness into it I, why am I saying cuteness it looks great especially the logo the Lego looks great too so in this pocket this is kind of like your little quick grab essential compartment so in this it has like a little fiberish material there's nothing really in it like there's no other pockets stuff like that if you really love pockets in your backpack there are a few pockets in different compartments no no pockets in this compartment but in the next one we unzip this bit you get an organizer this does have like a little key holder so if you like keeping your keys or like maybe even your college pass i think it could just about fit in it i mean i'll have to give it a try when i do like what's in my bag video and then it has like a little meshy pocket so if i unzip it like that it has a little mesh pocket you could fit in like maybe like sticky notes like if you're into like sticky notes for like your organization for your coursework use sticky notes place them in here and then it does have a little bigger pocket in here so if you like keep quick notepads like those really small notepads i think it could just about fit up to a b5 note bag i would say it as like an estimate it's not really exact but it's just an estimate and then over here you can keep your phone phone in this pocket and then some like pens some pencils i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to keep like a couple of pencils just in case if i need to write something so let me zip that back up now of course you can get this in like many different colors there's like a greenish version a black version like a brownish version there's like an orangey version i think you can get this in like 18 other colors or i think there's more yeah, I think there's more colours than that, but if you love colours, cash your bags for you. That took me a while to find the zipper, but I found it. The zipper quality, pretty decent, I would say. Not the best, but pretty decent. And then in this pocket up here, this is, Herschel says that it's for like sunglasses. Oops, no, I zipped the wrong one. Okay, so this sort of pocket here, it says it's for your sunglasses. Like it has a little fairy, Oh, okay, no, this material does actually look nice. It has like a little fairy material into it. It says you can put in some, like your sunglasses in there. I would say this is more like a phone holder. So like in a winter, I would like put my phone in there or something that's really small in here. And then this is where we get up to the good stuff. Okay, now the inside feels really nice as well. So this, this bit, this is where your sunglasses or your phone is gonna be here. And then there's like a little pocket in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. So so in this pocket you could probably fit in like maybe your phone um, if you've already put your sunglasses in there or you could put at the front doesn't matter it's up to you and so you could put in like your phone and then your power banks and all our cords and all that sort of stuff but then on the side here we have like a little audio jack put it's like I don't know how this concept's gonna work but basically you put like the wire of your earphones into that and then you know obviously you can listen to music that way through your back <laughs> I don't know, that's just kind of weird to me. It's just kind of baffling. I don't know how people will actually use that. I don't know if anyone actually 
owns like a Herschel bag, it, like especially the pop quiz, and actually uses this part of the bag. I don't know. Let me know if you actually do use this part of it, because I'm gonna laugh. So it does have like like big space, like especially for like folders and all that sort of stuff. I don't really like carrying a lot of things, because otherwise it's just unnecessary. It's gonna make my bag messy, and you know, I probably won't be carrying a lot of things. This is a this is only a 22 litre bag. If you like a little bit of a bigger bag, get the little America one. It does have little like buckles thing at the front but for me i just i don't know I, I like easy bags okay and then finally we have the laptop sleeve it does have this smooth metallic feel to it oh let me get my laptop as you probably all know this is the 13 inch 2017 laptop um before i used to have a skin but then i don't know i just took it off so let's try it okay so let's slot this 13 inch fit snug in there the, the seed can carry up to a 15 inch laptop, but really depends on the thickness, the size and the weight. Like different laptop manufacturers have 15 inch laptops for different purposes. So kind of if your laptop's really thick, you're not really going to be able to put this in there or you might just about squeeze it in there, but then just the feel of it won't be as nice um, as like a thinner 15 inch laptop like maybe a MacBook Pro 15 inch can just about fit in there a Dell, a Dell XPS 15 could probably just about fit in here if you actually get a shot I don't know I mean I have the 13 inch to like compare it to but it fits pretty much in there with a lot which I mean takes up half the room but you know it doesn't really matter and let me just punch this to give me more room and yeah I mean it was protected but who knows, we'll see. Let me take my laptop out, and it does have like a little thingy. And then when it closes, it tucks in there just like so. Pretty good. Now you may be thinking, oh, but Herschel bags are overrated. Then and then, you can get something better, in fact, for cheaper. I'm just like, well, I'm on a Herschel bag, so you can suck on it. Right, and then finally, at the back, we have like the straps, but they're not really as padded as I thought they would. And then here's just like a little booklet. I mean, do you really need to read this? I mean, come on, you should know what kind of features that it has in the bag. But if you're that stupid and you forgot to read the features, then obviously there's a little booklet for you. There's like little uh, branding. It says the finest quality, Herschel on this side. Um, it has like a little leather thingy. I don't know why it's there, but okay, it's there. Uh, it's there anyways. And then at the bottom here, it has like a little leathered texture to it. But yeah, so this is pretty much my new bag for next year, but also I might use this as a day bag as well. Maybe I might use this to put my work clothes in there when I'm not in college. Yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will probably be doing a what's in my college bag video soon. So thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye bye.